So now we are going to do some calculations on Mercator selling. So first example is that we have to find by Mercator selling matting the true course and the distance between the two positions. Position A is 34 degrees, 40 minutes south and uh, this uh, longitude is 015, 20 minutes east. Position B is 11 degree 46 minutes north and 024 degree 39 minutes west. So this we have to do by Mercator selling because we use when the distance is more than 600 miles and the earth is not considered as a plate but as a spheroid and curve. So same we are going to draw that triangle as we know that we are going from southeast to northwest with position A and B. This will be our difference in moderate parts and this will be the D long and this is the distance, this is the course. And we know the formula tan course is equal to D long upon DMP and cos course is equal to D delta upon distance. So from the Nuri's table, we will calculate the difference in meridional parts for initial latitude 3440 south and uh, 1146 north and also we will calculate the difference in latitude and longitude that is d lat and d long so difference in latitude from 3440 south and 1140 north is 4626 north and between 1520 east and 2439 west is 3959 west and the naming will be if we are going north of south. So difference in light, we are going north, so that will be north. And from in longitude, we are going to west, so that will be named west. Then we convert them into minutes, and that we will see where we are using. So we get the meridional parts from Nuri's table for both the latitudes, and we take the difference between the meridional parts, that is your TMP, that is difference in meridional parts. And for calculating the tan course, we need this D long and DMP. So D long we got from here 2399 west and DMP is 2912.86 north. So we get the tan course, which will be 39.24 something, but we round off because the course can be steered generally on a close to nearest degree or nearest to 0.5 so the naming we get from here the d long is west so that is west and dmp or the light is south so dmp north so north 39 degree west is 321 degrees two that will be our course this is 321 degrees two now we go further so this is the nourish table where we are getting the meridional parts for 11 degrees and 14 degrees and we can calculate like this now to calculate the distance the formula is cos course equals to d lat upon distance so distance equals to d lat upon cos course the d lat we had calculated in starting 2786 and course we got now so course cos 3 to 1 degrees or you can use even 39 degrees we'll get the same answer maybe sometimes negative which you can ignore and the distance is 3584.9 nautical miles. We have to calculate and keep in decimals whatever you get. The final answer is course 3 to 1 degrees true and distance 3584.9 nautical miles. Now let's see the second question. It has the departure or the initial position is given. It is the departure position from where we are departing. And it is 07, 43, 07 degree 43 minutes north and 083 14 minutes west. Course 235 and 14 north. Time travel 76 hours. We have to find the final position. So let's start with the course. We convert it into quadrant. So 
so this will be south 55 degrees west like so this is south 55 degrees west and we have to find the distance for the triangle so we got the course then with distance is equal to speed into time speed is 14 time is 76 hours so 1064 nautical miles now we need d lat so we know cos course is equal to d lat upon distance we have the course and distance so we calculate d lat so cos 55 into 1064 is our d lat converting in, into degrees it's 10 degrees 10.3 that is our new latitude now uh, how to name it north or south since we are going to south and uh, our initial latitude is 7 degrees north and we are going d lat d lat has to be named from two words where we are going so we are going towards south so that is 10 degrees south from 7 degrees north then we have to calculate the difference in meridional parts for calculating the length longitude and uh, so difference in meridional parts we calculate we calculate the meridional parts for both the latitudes 743 and 10 10.3 and uh, so that is d lat so we get the final latitude as 0 to 27.3 south so meridional parts for 743 north is 461.26 and for 227.3 is 146.35 so difference in manual parts we will add because it is north and south so 461 plus 146 607.61 so same from manual parts in the nori table we will get the manual parts now to calculate the d long we have the formula tan cos is equals to d long upon dmp so d long is 1055 into 607.61 d long is 867.7 that is 14 degrees 27.7 minutes the departure longitude was 83 14 minutes west and d long is 14 27.7 so arrival longitude will be we are going more westward 097 41.7 minutes west so we got the inner position initial uh, arrival latitude and arrival longitude and we have done the interpolation here for getting 27.3 so in knowledge table we are given for 227 minus 6.5 and for 0 to 28 127.04 for difference of one minute the difference here is 0.99 so for 0.3 that is 27.3 it will be 3 into 99 0.99 is 0.297 so we add 0.297 to 146.05 get 146.37 this is our pmp for 227 see we round it off so the final answer is final position 227.3 degrees south and 097 41.7 minutes west so we are going to northwest